guys thank you so much for tuning back to urban tropical this is raj and today we are going to talk about cannas so this one is my favorite canna the name is canna cleopatra i have got a good collection of cannas which i can show you today the reason i'm shooting this video soon we will be lifting storing these cannas and i just think it will be good to shoot to show how different cannas have done in this given summer which hasn't been great and how do they perform when you give it full sun versus you give it part shade can they do well in part shade and um, really you can see it for yourself different kind of varieties do differently for me it's always it's not a big thing to replace plants from one location to another location but anyway before me talking too much let's get to it this is my new favorite canna and i would actually say the reasons why it's my favorite so i love canna tropicana black it's just because how stunning it looks and the flowers are amazing so what cleopatra has which has topped it up for me not that it's just two-tone leaves which looks really amazing it does give you two-tone flowers on top as well i mean imagine that if you have a border and big clump right there and that's how it looks when it blooms so cleopatra is not just pretty when it's not flowering it's much more stunning with its flowers as well so it's kind of i mean i'd never grow cannas for its flowers i just have to say i only grow cannas because of its foliage i'm not bothered at all so if you put it in more sunny location you will be rewarded with amazing flowers if you put it in a really shady area or part shady area they won't grow to its full potential and they will not flower because i have tested it i have got cannas in sun cannas in part shade and there's a big difference between who is flowering and which one is so the cool thing about cannas is that it comes in two tones as you know but well, some of the pups can come just in one tone so if I if I let me see if I can go close up so this one is coming up right just in one color so now the cool thing when you have got only one color foliage the flower color will not be two tone so this flower is a yellow and scarlet and when the flowers come on the maroon shade leaves, it will just be scarlet, right this tone. That's how amazing cannas is. You can choose which color to flower, really. I just think it's always nice surprise when the pup comes up. You don't know what color is going to come up is. So the second thing about not canna Cleopatra is with any canna. They're super easy to care for and they multiply pretty quickly. That means they will produce a lot of pups and you can divide them super easy. So I have divided this one and actually I have divided every single canna I have got. And I'm just going to show you some of them um, in my next area right here. So this was kind of a not nice part of my garden which i didn't pay much attention to then i decided to fill it up with all the pups and the propagations and anything i don't have space for i just thought okay not good summer i'm just gonna put it all here and sort it out next year so this one is canna tropicana black it has already produced more pups and i think i moved it here approximately two months ago that's how fast they are in terms of growth and in terms of producing more pups and here is a canna cleopatra which i have divided from the parent plant it has given actually more pups here so this one is new but i'm not sure if you see it has not a single two-tone it's just uh, why what's going on with my colors it's just green and uh, i'll be surprised what happens with it if it will change color so now my thing is if this one flowers it's going to give me yellow flowers rather than two-tone flowers because that's how cleopatra is working and this leaf damage you see here that's when it happened when i transplanted it sometimes some leaves can go so i just either i can cut them i just left them it didn't bother me and the plant has done really well now the canna which i didn't like doing well is canna durban it could be just because I didn't give it ideal conditions or it wasn't the right weather this year compared to other seasons. I'm not really impressed with this one. But again, I will give it a go next year and see how it does. Just before actually I move on to show you another side of Canna Cleopatra. I just wanted to see if you can spot the difference. I have got two Colocasias here. They are both black. Actually, I have got three. One you can see in the background. If you can tell which one is which. And uh, if you can't figure that out, I have posted a video on it. Which one is which. They are all black. So they are pretty much black colocasias, but different names. 
so cannas are really cheap plant rewards you really well and i just think it's kind of must have if you want to fill borders you want to have structure you can go for a tall canna middle canna dwarf canna so there is a choice for everyone now this one you might think is a canna tropicana black but you'll be surprised to know this one is a cleopatra so what i was saying just a minute ago about it being two tone and one tone so this one will flower scarlet so this one here is one tone again this one was full of scarlet looking flowers they look absolutely amazing if i show you right at the bottom you can see the two tones so this is cleopatra starting off with the two tones and eventually turning into this whole one color plant and it's from the same plant so because they form clump you just don't know what kind of pup is going to come up and um, i might as well actually show you my used to be first favorite now it's my second favorite none other than tropicana black so now you see what i meant by this so cleopatra gives you both because i have got the same color in cleopatra exactly the same flowers in cleopatra and they just look amazing the thing i really liked about the tropicana here is it's in part shade when i say part shade it gets only morning sun an hour or two and it gets when the sun is about to sunset in summer right there and it gets that sun so it's not really in a sunny location and it's a fighting every plant here is kind of a fighting for sun and plants do get laggy here so really i have to reevaluate my planting schemes but i just wanted to sh say that despite being in a not ideal position it has done really well so it came up on time not like the other cannas and it did really well and i just couldn't be more happier that's how amazing this canna looks it's just stunning so the other canna which i thought will go on to my top list was canna musifolia it didn't make it there again it could be me that i didn't give it the right location because not all cannas can do with a lot of shade and they all need space as well i cram so many plants together that they're all fighting for survival to be honest and i really need to make space for other plants working on that so there is another canna which is again a tropicana this one is gold i love the strikes of this plant again i just uh, actually i feel like i'm a canna lady right now so i have got so many cannas all over the borders this one again shade didn't do much so if you plant your canna in part shade it will give you leaf maybe you won't have that boldness about it and it might not flower so but again i just showed you tropicana doing so great in part shade so please don't be put off by that you need full sun if you don't want it to bloom or you don't mind it blooming but you still need a structure and you really want cannas to be there to give you this jungle feel i will really recommend go for it and you have nothing to lose if things don't work out plants are so easy you can just move them around so that's how cool it is so you cannot go wrong thank you so much again for watching this video and if you like it please give it thumbs up i really hope that you don't have to do this but if you think you have to do this go for it and uh, again thank you for watching and keep on watching and uh, signing off for now bye bye